Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my God, you will overturn it and give me my portion. I'll take my portion as you overturn. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Touche toi ta la brigade que ta la gade Sekete le kere kete le barataya Rekete kete la Ya tene ne yo manina yo tene no manaya Lekete dia na barata ta ligada Lekete dia ta na ma Lekete kwa la kataka baradada Eche toi linka linka borama isotaya Elika kapaka baratande Rakwata katana kapriketosha Rete te toa delia shabadai Lord, we are not tired. We are not tired of crying. Overturn, O Lord. 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 Overturn the report. Overturn the circumstance. Overturn the situation. Overturn the attacks. Overturn, O Lord. The situations. Overturn, O Lord. This agenda, O God. Overturn this agenda. Overturn this agenda. Overturn this agents of hell. Overturn this agents of hell. Overturn the enemies of our destinies. Marisha takalikataya. I'm taking my portion today. I'm taking my portion today. I'm taking my portion today. It's my season. It's my time. I am taking my portion. I am taking that which belongs to me. The health that belongs to me. The soundness that belongs to me. The, the, the prosperity that belongs to me. The promotion that belongs to me. The partnership that belongs to me. The influence that belongs to me. The honor that belongs to me. Ayata Kaparata. The health Past that belong to me, the help that belongs to me. Shed a day, I take, I take my portion, 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 I take my portion. I take my portion. Raka kaka kaka kapa raja ya. Maraka take the reprekadosa. Rata ta 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 ya. I take my health back. I take my strength back. I take my prayer life back. I take my ministry back. If that is you right now, take your heart back. Take your heart back. That heart failure will not stand. Kidney back, take your wholeness back. Asseketaragataya. Oh Lord, I will not grow tired of taking until they manifest. 
overturn it. I will overturn it, says the Lord. I will overturn it. Overturn it. I will overturn it, says the Lord. It's time to take what rightfully belongs to you. The Lord is overturning everything for you. It's time to rise up and step into your new season. God is overturning everything. He will overturn Overturn it, overturn it, he is the Lord. I want to say this this very afternoon with all confidence in the God who heareth prayers. I want you to know your prayer is not in vain. Heaven is overturning situations right now for you. You may not see it. It may not look like it's evident. But God is overturning that situation. And it will surely manifest. He is changing your seasons. Setting you free, he is overturning everything, he's resetting your life, raising you up, he is overturning everything, he is overturning, overturning. He is overturning it right now. There is a God who hears and that is the God you are crying to. He hears. He understands. He's a mighty God. Today I want you to open your Bibles to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter number 21 verse number 27. I want you to focus on that scripture quickly focus on that scripture there are there is something I want you to see take a deep look at that scripture you will see three overtones there is hardly a place in the scripture where God repeated one thing three times most times we see God repeating something twice, like very, verily, verily. But when you see God repeating something three times, I want you to know that he is more than committed and more than serious. And he said, Ezekiel 21, 27. I will overturn 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 it and it shall be no more until he comes whose right it is and I will give it him Aya. I will overturn overturn 
overturn overturn it and it shall be no more there are a few important things I want us to see as we proceed this afternoon in this powerful truth of the scripture uh, there are a few important things I want you to see now take a deep look at the first thing you see I want, I want to get it in the scripture so that you don't miss out of what God is setting for us the first thing I want you to take a look at is the three overturnings. God says, I will overturn, overturn, overturn three times. That is commitment to the highest level. That means overturning is one of God's major commitments. God is committed to overturning every story, everything that does not align with his will in your life. So, this afternoon when you are praying, don't just be committed, be reminded that God is committed. I am. I will overturn it. Overturn it. I will overturn it. Says the Lord. This song you hear us singing overturning three times. It is because we saw it in the scripture. I will overturn. I will overturn. I will overturn it. I told us yesterday from the book of Job 34 verse 25 that one of the ways that God destroys the work of darkness is that he begins first to overturn them. Therefore he knoweth their works and he overturned them in the night so that they are destroyed. Notice a lot of times we want God God to do something for us but we do not understand what we call divine protocols the system through which God accomplishes it divine patterns the setup divine pathway the way there are divine processes most time when God wants to destroy the works of darkness he first of all uproot them overturn them, overthrows them. What does it mean to overturn them? It changes what they have established. It removes their roots. It removes their establishment. That thing you thought that has taken hold in your life, hold of your life today, by the reason of your cry to God, the ancient of days is overturning them. It's overturning them. That which you think have taken root in your land, in your city, in your ministry, in your calling, in your family. Watch God overturn them as you cry out to him this afternoon. Watch the Lord. Number two is that he say, it shall be no more. If you are still seeing it, God has not completed what we call the threefold overturning. He said, when he completes this threefold overturning, it shall be no more. What is your focus? Focus on allowing God overturn everything until it is no more. Until that wicked report, until that agenda of the devil until that design and machination and imaginations and manipulations of the forces of darkness against your life and destiny, they are no more. But notice the thought he said. He said, 
there is a coming. He said, until he comes, whose right it is, and I will give it. Notice, there is an understanding you must have when God begins to overturn things. Understand what is your right. Number two, come for what is your right. I came to take my portion because it's my right. It is my right. It is my right, oh Lord. It's my right. Most times, we approach God with a sense, beggarly sense, not having a consciousness that it is my right. Listen, most times we go to God and get nothing. Why? We don't have that sense that He can only give it to you if it is your right. He said, Until He comes, whose right it is? What is the proof that it is your right that you are requesting this afternoon? He said, I will give it to him all if he proves to me that it is his right. Hear me. Can you tell the Lord that as you overturn his situation that health is my right this afternoon? I, uh, prosperity and promotion is my right. Increase is my right. Advantage is my right. Advancement is my right. Acceleration is my right. Authority is my right. Access is my right. Don't just come this afternoon to beg. The Father say, as I am overturning, begin right Ladia, <laughs> 
Eshede de bo silati. Eliga da kaba ya nana. Salabada yele shara. Elia sel habadi. Elia gada da tabala manina. Eligi tiki li katuna tila tiata na na manama. Shede de de shede de de shede de de. Something like water is being poured upon your head where you are right now. And there is a dissolution going on in your body right now. I see somebody tied to something that looks like a tree. Like with a very rusty chain. And I see the chain burst off from the neck. The bar broken. And the waist one broken. And the legs one broken. And the person just busted out into the light and joy. There is a deliverance taking place right now. As the Lord is turning it around. I see something that looks like blood. On somebody's left side inside your body. Something that looks like a, a lump of blood inside your body. It is being dissolved right now by the Spirit of God. I see something that looks like a, a black substance inside somebody's stomach. It is being dissolved right now. You will pass it out. Instantly you will be healed. It is my right. I come to take it. It is my right. It is my right. It is my right, O oh Lord. I come to take it. Give me my portion. My portion of health. My portion of strength. My portion of grace. My portion of prosperity. My portion of promotion. My portion of prominence. My portion of power and authority. Give me my portion. Give me my portion. Give me my portion. Give me my portion. It is my right. I came to take it. It is my right, oh Lord. Give me my portion. My portion of helpers. My portion of partners. My portion of rising. My portion of lifting. My portion of change. My portion of change. My portion of shift upward and forward. Give it to me. It is my right. I came to take it. I'm here to take it. Healing is my portion. Ah. Health is my portion. Let the pain disappear. Caleb, who is crying? And say, Lord, 
Health is my portion. Let this pain disappear. Come on, keep taking it. As you take your health, put it on that side. Take your health, put it in that body. Take your health, put it. Take it. Keep taking. Keep taking. Something is happening. Keep taking. Keep taking. Take your freedom, put it in your system, put it in your spirit, take your promotion, take your promotion, take your prosperity, take your increase, take your liberation. Aya, take your life, take your is your Porsche. Is your portion? Is your portion? Take it right now. It is your portion. Ah, it is your portion. It is your portion. Take it right now. Take that miracle. Take that manifestation. Take that multiplication. It is yours. It is your right. The Lord is giving it. Take it right. Take it right. I see a family that was tied down. Tied down. That family has been tied down. Death has been happening in that family. And suddenly. 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 There is a shaking in the spirit. I see a cloud of glory coming over your family, breaking the yokes and destroying the altars. Allah take a barataya. Melega dege dege barata gadiya katala brekenos. I set one delegi da kabili bidi bili gidi gidi gali mati tini di gali gidi gali kada kini kabali kadi kada la katu telebrele. Hey, it is your portion. It is your portion. It is your portion. Health is your portion. Wealth is your portion. Wisdom is your portion. The will of God is your portion. The wonders of God, they are your portion. Take, take, take. The ways of God, they are your portion. Take. Take it right now. The Bible says, It will come whose right it is and I will give it. Take. Take soundness in your body. Take it. I see somebody whose bones have been troubled. Your bones have been troubled. Take new bones. Take. Take. Take new bones. It is your portion. It is your portion. I see somebody whose face has been covered. That people don't notice it. Just wipe your hair. Wipe your hand over your face. And that masking will go. People will recognize you. People will see you from today. Your helpers, your supporters, your sponsors, your partners will see you from today. Aliya Gabarata. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Remember that if you are going to have it, you must have the consciousness that it is your right. He said, He will come whose right it is. Whose right it is, and I will give it. God doesn't give you things. If he doesn't know you believe it is your right. It is your right to be healed. I declare right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Don't stop this prayer here. I wish some of us are wiser. Do you know that after I finish leading these prayers, I still return back. As I'm going to get my children from school, as we are coming back, I will put the prayer. I'm praying it in the car for myself again and again. Sometimes before I sleep in the night, I listen to it again. You may not know how to get it. The prayers are always on our YouTube channel. In case somebody is going to post the link of that YouTube channel right now. In case 
you have not subscribed to that YouTube channel. YouTube channel, I mean. Go and subscribe because every prayer, every teaching, every preaching, our recent messages, recent MIPP are all there. Take your portion. Keep taking. If you didn't see it, keep taking. Keep taking. Keep taking. When you take it, put it on that breast. When you take it, put it on that back. When you take it, put it on that head. Keep taking. When you take it, put it over your ministry. You take multiplication, put it. Say, Father, I take multiplication, I put it in my ministry. I take helpers, I put them in my ministry. I take strengtheners, I put them in my ministry. I take increase, I put them in my family. Keep taking and putting. You see, when you take things, you need to put those things where they belong. Else they will be wasted. Else they will be wasted. If you get food you're supposed to put in the fridge and you leave it in the kitchen, it will waste. Whatever you take, put it where it belongs. If any part of your body is sick and you say, I take healing, put it in that body, put it there. I take healing, I put, I take healing, I put, I take healing, I put. Keep doing that until there's a manifestation. I declare to somebody, your testimony is coming next. Your testimony is coming next because the Lord has overturned it. I will overturn it. I will overturn it, says the Lord. I will overturn it. Overturn it. Nothing will be the same again. Overturn it. I will overturn it, says the Lord. Tomorrow, we are returning back here for another overturning prayer. And this time around, God will use you to overturn things. So tomorrow we are praying, Lord, not only shall you overturn things for me, use me to overturn things for people. Use me to overturn challenges. Use me to overturn situations. Now I want to show you a scripture. Use me to overturn things, O oh Lord. I want to show you a scripture, powerful scripture. Let me get to it. If you take a look at the book of Judges, chapter 7, verse 13, that's where we're going to be focusing tomorrow. And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man. Judges 7, 13. And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of media and came onto a tent and smote it that he fell and overturned it, that the tent lay along. Look at verse 14. And this fellow, and his fellow answered and said, This is nothing else save the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. For into his hand that God delivered Midian and all the host. Hear me. Tomorrow, our prayer will not only be, O oh Lord, overturn it. Our prayer is, O oh Lord, use me to overturn the camp of the wicked. Use me to overturn the plots of wickedness in my country, in my land, in my city, in my calling, in our church. There are some of you that are in churches, in ministries. You are known for nothing. No. May the Lord use you in that church and that ministry to overturn things. Do you know as you are watching me right now, that God can use you to overturn many things in my life and ministry. You are going to ask God that wherever you are needed to overturn things, may he set you in motion. 
in that place and strengthen you with the spirit so that you'll be able to overturn things. Tonight, by 5.30 p.m., I will be on voice 89.9 FM at Doekiti. We shall also be online. I pray that the network will allow us. On moments of real encounter, there is more for you in Christ Jesus. 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Just tune in. You can join us online. You can use the app. If there's somebody that can post the app there, they will post it. And you can download the app and use it. Also, I want you to know that by 12 noon tomorrow, there will be another time of overturn it with me, O oh Lord. Overturn it, O oh Lord. Use me to overturn it. Use me, O oh God, to overturn it. Hallelujah. Then tomorrow evening is another time of the deep revelation in the word of God of showing you the secret. The secret of our walk with God is our special service. 5 p.m. Kingdom Kings Church. 5.30 p.m. online we begin. I am my wife, Pastor Joy. I welcome you to this awesome and wonderful time tomorrow evening. And I welcome you to the services of Kingdom Kings Church every Sunday, 9 a.m. and every Thursday, 5 p.m. It is a time of intimate worship and intense word. I welcome you to Kingdom Kings Church it's a time to experience God in a higher dimension and a deeper intimacy. I want you to join us this Sunday, 9 a.m. and this Thursday, 5 p.m. Of course, the online will start 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m. on Sunday and 5.30 p.m. on Thursdays. I want to also announce two special programs coming up. The first one is the program coming up this month our 15th year anniversary and reigning in life conference 2023 thy will be done oh lord coming up from 23rd to 26th of march we are going to be having reverend kola de kayo ajaidi incoming pfn chairman as our guest speaker 5 p.m 23rd to 25th and 9 a.m on the 26th sunday the venue remains Kingdom Kings Church International Kings Arena, kilometer two Ado Iworoko Road, opposite AA Rano Filling Station, beside Matrix Filling Station at Debayo, Adwekiti. Make plans to attend this year's Training in Life Conference, and the will of the Lord will be done in your life. And finally, I want to announce a special Jesus is Alive Crusade, a citywide crusade. Adwekiti Citywide Crusade powered by PFN Adwekiti Provinces and Hope of Faith Evangelical Team Hofet. And we have our beloved man of God, Evangelist Efe Ibe, coming to minister the power of God bringing deliverance, healing salvation breaking of yokes destruction of covenant, ancient altars will be destroyed. The program is dated to it's later to take place on Feb, uh, April 17 to 19, 2023. Time is 5 p.m. daily. And the venue is Fajui Pavilion. Fajui Roundabout at Doikiti. And we have the backing of our beloved PFN chairman, incoming chairman, Reverend Kola De Kayo Ajayi. And with all the PFN leaders, they are supporting this program. I want you to know that this remains... MIPP midday intercession and prophetic prayers. Remember that one way to make this prayer to spread is to send the link in your WhatsApp, place it on your status, place it on your Facebook status, share it with your friends, mention their names, ask them to join this prayer, and God will bless so many people. I love what a lot of people are doing. They are doing massively and God is blessing you. Please, before I go, I want you to join me in prayer to rebuke whoever is reporting my account 
to Facebook or whoever is trying to lock me out. Since morning we've been battling to recover my account. Yesterday I was just on my own checking through my account and suddenly Facebook say your account has been locked. And from that yesterday till 11.30 a.m. we are trying to recover the account. The Lord rebuke you in Jesus name. If you are the one tampering with my account, the Lord rebuke you. The God of my calling rebuke you. The Lord who raised me rebuke you. Let the prophetic mantle and apostolic grace of my life rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You will never near this account again. You are blinded to this account. You will never come across this account again. In Jesus name. Our Facebook, thank God for, actually the man I met on Facebook was not friendly. But thank God that the Holy Spirit insisted and another man came and took over and opened the account for me today. I am favored of the Lord. Please, wherever you are, stretch forth your hand over me. Stretch forth your hand over me and pray for me. Just pray. Pray any prayer God is bringing in your heart. Pray for my family. Pray for my wife. Pray for my children. Can you pray wherever you are? Just pray that the Lord will send us his grace. Pray that the spirit of God will bring a supernatural overturning in my own life, in my own family. The Bible says, He that watereth shall be watered, and a liberal soul shall be made fat. Can you pray wherever you are? Say, Lord, overturn him in every area of, my, of, of the man of God's life, overturning in his family, overturning his faith, overturning his finance, overturning his future. Let everything that is making him, make, attacking him, trying to do anything against this life. Can you pray and say, Lord, let them be overturned. Can you pray that the spirit of God and the power of God's glory will visit me and my ministry and my family and my children and my finances and every area of my life. Can you pray that prayer? Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, saints of God. Do you notice that this is the first time I will finish and ask you to pray? Keep on praying for us. Pray for my children. Pray for my wife. Pray for Kingdom Kings Church. Pray for me. Keep on praying. As I pray for you, the Lord will also answer your prayers. I want to say the Lord is still overturning. Is your right? He's overturning. God bless you as he continues to sing this song. And I will bid you. Bye -bye. Turn it, I will overturn it, says the Lord. I will overturn it, overturn it, and nothing will be the same again. I will overturn it, overturn it.